In this video, I'm going to show you guys three ways to test for a bad fuel injector. The first and quickest way to test for a bad fuel injector is to conduct a power balance test. Basically, that involves disconnecting each fuel injector one at a time and listening for a drop in RPM. To disconnect the fuel injector, you need a tool like this or like this, or you can use a screwdriver. But if you have a tool like this, it makes the job a lot easier to remove the fuel injector. So here's a demonstration. You can also use this tool. This one works just as well. Now I'm going to start the engine and we're going to start testing each fuel injector. Now the engine is running. When I disconnect each fuel injector, this is for a change in RPM. If you pay attention, you can hear that the sound also changed when RPM is dropping. If you disconnect each fuel injector and you don't hear a change in RPM or the sound change, that means that fuel injector is faulty. When you disconnect the fuel injector, the engine should shake. That means you're having an engine misfire. If the engine doesn't shake, that means that fuel injector, again, is also faulty. The next test involves using a noid light and connecting it straight to each wire on the fuel injector. If the fuel injector is working, the noid light should start to flash. That means the fuel injector is good, the connection is good, and the crankshaft position sensor is also functioning. This also means that the timing is functioning as well. As you can see, the setup is very simple. Basically, I use a wire pierce and I just pierce each wire on the fuel injector. The next test involves using a multimeter. As you can see here, I have each fuel injector disconnected. The goal here is to take an average of the resistance of the fuel injector. Now take your multimeter and set to ohms. Each fuel injector should have similar reading. If one fuel injector reading is off, that means it is faulty. Now the multimeter is set to ohms. Touch the probe together. You want to make sure you have good connection at the multimeter. Now take the multimeter probe and probe each connection on the fuel injector. Basically, you're going to take the average reading of each fuel injector. Make sure to write down each fuel injector reading. If one fuel injector reading is completely different from the rest of the fuel injector, then you know that fuel injector is faulty and it should be replaced. If you have no reading at all, you can assume that fuel injector is definitely shorted or open internally. When you're done testing each fuel injector, make sure to test it again. This is to ensure that there is no false reading. Also, make sure you test the connection at the multimeter. Sometimes the connection can become loose and also cause a false reading. As you can see, each fuel injector has similar readings. So far, each fuel injector on this engine is functioning properly. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.